Joining us here on NDTV is the Managing Director at Bajaj Auto, Rajiv Bajaj. Many thanks, Rajiv, for being with us today. Sure, thank you. Jumping straight into it then, let's talk about the new bike because uh, it's a new product, excites the market, people sort of sit up and take notice, but the relevance of this one for you? See, in our view, it's not really products that succeed or fail. Uh, we think it's the underlying strategy that is more important. Now, our strategy rests on the belief that there are essentially two kinds of customers here. There's the guy that wants to simply commute, and there's a guy that wants to have a little fun with his motorcycle. So our strategy rests on two brands, the Discover for the former and the Pulsar for the latter. Now, Pulsar is, I would say, the newfound center of Bajaj. You know, what used to be Chetak probably in the last century is now the Pulsar. We are known first and foremost now as a company that's the maker of the Pulsar. And I think from that center, everything we do will always succeed. Uh, today, Pulsar is about 50% of its category by market share uh, and, and growing uh, all the time. Yet the smallest Pulsar is still a little too big, perhaps, and a little too expensive for uh, a vast majority of the market, let's say. So I think our task is uh, not so much to gain more market share. I mean, when you have 50% of the market, you can't really gain more share. Uh, we have to, uh, in the cliched marketing lingo, let's say, we need to expand the size of the sports segment. So what we are doing with this new product, which we launch on the 9th of December, is to offer a Pulsar, which is more in the, let's say, the light sports category. So it's sub 60,000, it's sub 150cc. It's lighter, yet faster. Uh, you could say it's the Roadster equivalent of the sedan, for example, as an image. And uh, I'm sure that this will help expand this market. Our own objective, let's say, is that uh, from about 50,000 pulsers a month, uh, can we actually uh, expand this to something like 80,000 pulsers a month? Uh, so that pulser becomes a 1 million a year brand. Um, as uh, Balki at Lowe said to me very correctly, he said, Pulsar is much bigger in the minds than it is actually on the road. Uh, so you need to do something which grows the Pulsar franchise. That's what we're trying to do. When you say from 50,000 to 80,000, is that primarily from the 135 or is that uh, as a whole that you see the, you know, even some of the other uh, Pulsar models expanding as well along with this? No, the, uh, the new Pulsar 150, 180, 220 were launched in quick succession between April and June. Uh, that's taken Pulsar up already from something like 35,000 a month to a little over 50,000. So I think uh, that's uh, already been achieved uh, and, and hopefully that remains steady. But most, if not all, of this growth should now come from this new motorcycle. You're not worried about the fact that, you know, what happened with, uh, for me to draw an example actually, mm -hmm. what happened with, you know, the Maruti SX4. People went in, said, oh, hang on, the desire is cheaper, it's still a sedan, mm -hmm. let me just buy that instead. And, you know, SX4 sales suffered as a re result, despite the fact that the car was a hit initially. I know it's right. not a fair comparison, but right. um, you're worried about cannibalization at any level with um, I I at least the 150? Surely, I mean, uh, that is inevitable. Uh, I would say Mercedes would sell more of the E-Class if there was no C-Class. Uh, but uh, from our point of view, we try to ensure three things uh, for, for a new bike like this, which is uh, part of the same brand. Chuba.com.